So I'm watching this video here. You got Mr. Beast. He's a YouTube sensation, one of the most popular YouTubers in the world. He does this video where he compares making $1 a year at the lowest paying job he could think of, all the way up to making $10 million a year as an NFL player. What do you think he chose as the $1 a year job? Wait till you see this. All right, if you saw my YouTube thumbnail here, you probably have a pretty good idea about what he chose as the $1 a year job. Let's watch this clip real quick. I'm about to work this $10 million job as a professional athlete, and I'm gonna show you the difference between this and getting paid $200,000 to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid $100,000 to dig up real dinosaur bones. Oh my God. And so many other jobs. Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as $1 a year. But we're gonna make millions. Statistically not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism, and with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. But it's not very easy, because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys, I found gold! Yo! How much is that little nugget worth? That is two cents. Exactly my point. You could do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. Did you happen to notice the brand new high-end chest waders, brand new outdoor shirts, new shovels, brand spanking new gold pants. I mean, it looks like a bit of a production, like a parody, right? And you would think that until, check this out. There's a guest appearance in here. Did you recognize this guy? That is Dan Hurd, another YouTube sensation, a gold prospector who is a literally a gold magnet. This guy finds the gold. So Mr. Beast, he found the right guy. He found Dan Hurd. And then they go into this creek and they do a little digging and all they get is a little tiny fly poop speck of gold. Come on. That's Dan Hurd. What's going on here, guys? What do you think? Okay, we're gonna start with the half inch stuff, which will be pretty easy, because we can just dig through this and look, and really, there is only one nugget in there. We know that because, well, we can see it. There it is. What a beautiful nugget. That must be four or five grams. All right, let's put this into perspective real quick. So the guys are using gold pans, okay? They're out there shoveling dirt into a classifier, right into the pan, filling the pan full of dirt, washing the dirt away, and they find one little tiny speck worth two cents. And you got Mr. Dan Hurd there who could have probably really wanted to take Mr. Beast out to a killer site where he could have really got some gold, and they probably did that same day since they were already there. But hey, it's a parody, I get it. He wants to show that it's the lowest paying job that he can think of and it just blows my mind that he chose gold panning. So I have a gold pan and I take it with me all the time, but it's not because I ever go out just with a gold pan and pan for gold. That's not what I do. Now there is a river nearby where I could go down and take a few shovelfuls and classify it, get a good nice pan and wash the dirt away and I'm going to get about 10 to 20 colors per pan and that's that's right down the street from my house. I'm gonna get way more than one little two cent speck. I'm gonna get 10 to 20 of those and an occasional little picker that I could pick out. And that's because I live in a good area where there's a lot of gold. Now I always have the pan with me and like I said, I don't go out and take the pan out and just look for gold with just the pan. I'm using it to sample dirt in the areas where I'm doing other techniques. So I'll bring a sluice box, a dry washer, a high banker, suction dredging when we used to be able to do that. And what I really like to do, as you guys know, is metal detecting. These metal detectors over here, these gold detectors and the four over there on that wall, they're all very powerful. The smallest gold nugget that I can find or here with these machines is typically worth about $20. So literally every time I find the smallest nugget that I can find with a metal detector, $20 bill. So I just made $20 on one nugget compared to two cents. So. Anyway, like I said, I know it's a parody and he's joking around, but I was just dumbfounded when I saw he actually chose the worst job in the world being gold panning, the lowest paying job in the world. I mean, you could go out and, and pick up aluminum cans off the side of the road and recycle and do way better than a dollar a year. So anyway, I guess you guys get my point. What do you guys think about this? Go down below in the comments. 
and tell me what you think about Mr. Beast choosing gold panning as the lowest paying job that he could think of. Crazy. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.